Well, this is late nighters, huh? <laughs> it is. Wow. Real hardcore. That was, uh, that's the hardest two a day I've been through in a long time. But no, but really, man, I mean, obviously tonight was a big time teach mode. Some of the, his first time for DJ Foster and Marion Grice. Uh, uh, really was impressed with Michael Eubank. Thought he did a lot of great things and, and um, you know, getting him a whole bunch of reps. Uh, Rick Smith stood out. Man, he, we, we got some players now. We really feel good about what we did from a recruiting standpoint. Obviously, the first look we had at Evan Goodman. Um, so, uh, lots of the signs. I tell you what was really exciting. Um, you know, defense, we're looking out there. Stephon Martin was really impressive. Uh, Chris Young was really impressive. I got to get him in shape. Um, Big Mike Pinnell looked good. Very, very impressive. Del Delvon Coleman probably had his best practice. He's sprinting on the field and off the field leading. So, we had some of the, the veteran guys to kind of help the young guys kind of show them how to do it. So, uh, um, Am I pronouncing that right, Leilu? That's what I call him. Yes. You know who that is? Oh, yeah. The safety, okay? Because I don't know how to pronounce that. But he, that's what I call him, Leilu. And uh, uh, but he is uh, uh, really impressive. Uh, he had a big, uh, big uh, hit we didn't really want, but uh, I was very impressed with him. Big Ezekiel Bishop, I mean, lots of whole bunch of guys that were not. I counted six or seven guys on defense that did not go through spring that I was thoroughly impressed with today for their first outing. So obviously I think our staff did a good job of recruiting. Uh, got a long way to go obviously to get them where they're at. Um, uh, impressed with uh, uh, Jackson and Moore, the two kickers. You know, they, they did some good things today, especially uh, you know, Jackson punting and kicking off. Was, you know, I think also the field goal kicks were, were very good as well. Uh, so uh, I was impressed. There were lots of lots of things. I'm trying to. You know, Jackson Hood was impressive. Very impressive. We got some really uh, explosive guys, and love their attitude. And I was interested to see how if they would just you know how they would respond to things. Obviously, it's cooler tonight than it was this morning. But uh, I was extremely encouraged by by that practice, and I'm, I'm excited to. You know, we'll do this for one more day, and then we'll have them all together on the third day. So. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for you know one more day of this. We we it went so good tonight. We started not to do it tomorrow. We started just to join them all back up tomorrow. But we said you know it's not going to hurt to take one more day. So uh, I'm very very pleased. Are you working on a three three five over there? Uh, we're again we're a, we're a, we're a, we are a hybrid defense. So we're going to um, what you're seeing right now is our core base is a is a three man front, and then our other one is our bench, which you see. Let's play that we kick down. What we're trying to do is just kind of get guys there and let them run the football. So it's extremely basic. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, you probably see some of that based on formation. You know what I'm saying? If it's it's some some three four and some we'll slide a little bit and stuff like that. And obviously we're not blitzing any. So right. we'll we'll uh, we'll start installing that tomorrow. So uh, Carlos Mendoza, Salamo, uh, Rowe, uh, all those young guys. I was really really impressed with. I was really really thought that we. Uh, they, they really showed really good signs. Um, uh, again, Rick Smith really j caught my eye several times. So I uh, uh, thought it was a good day. I was really, really impressed. I'm, I'm encouraged. You'll, you'll tweak your, your personnel, uh, you know, your players, your, what, you, what you run to your, to your players and what you have. Can you just talk about just the, that, that figuring out what you want to do and, and that process? Well, you know, obviously Coach Norvell will, will do that on the offensive side of the football. And, uh, you know, um, you, you know, I'll spend a lot more of my time, I, you know, with the special teams and with the defense. And then we'll spend time talking about that. We spent a lot of time during practice today actually walking over and talking to him about, hey, here's what I've seen here, here's what I've seen there. But, you know, we're going to get the ball to our best guys on offense. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be a downhill, be able to team, a run, play, action, pass team. So we're gonna, that's going to be our basic stuff. Uh, but I like the explosiveness. I've seen some guys that can be one-play touchdown guys, so that's exciting. So that's our job to figure out how to get that done. And uh, to win football games is simple. you got to physically whip the other team, and you got to be able to run the football. Defense, you got to be able to stop the run. Obviously, um, you know, I think our biggest challenge is, is, is getting things taught. You know, we got a whole bunch of newcomers. I think there's going to be a lot of newcomers that are, that are competing to play, uh, especially defensively. That we've got to do a great job of, of, you know, making sure we establish what we want to do with them, and I've got a really good idea of that. We spent a lot of time this summer really evaluating. We know a lot about the guys coming in, so you'll see that as we progress. But we're really trying to lay a, you know, let them play. But don't beat ourselves early, and let's get some things established fundamentally. So it'll start, you know, after after tomorrow. It'll really start 
developing that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I mean, I do think that, uh, uh, you know, we, we'll probably, uh, looking at it, we'll probably play more four-man front, you know, but uh, because I think just I'm, I'm impressed with our inside guys. Uh, so, uh, but I do like the odd stuff. You know, I'm, I'm always going to do that from the pressure standpoint.